Identifying and leveraging your unique selling points can make all the difference in standing out in a crowded market or workplace. It allows you to differentiate yourself from others and showcase your unique assets. However, not everyone has a clear understanding of what their USP is or how to effectively communicate it. That's why it's important to explore some factors that make your USP valuable and successful. The first factor is uniqueness. Your USP needs to be generally unique, not just a variation of what others are offering. If you are just copying what others are doing, you won't stand out from the crowd. Instead, think about what sets you apart and makes you different. What do you bring to the table that no one else does? The second factor is strength-based. Your USP should be based on your strength, not just any attribute or skill you have. Consider what you are naturally good at and what brings you joy. Think about what others have praised you for in the past or what you have received recognition for. Those strengths are what makes you unique and what you should focus on when crafting your USP. The third factor is specificity. Being specific about your USP is essential. You need to clearly articulate what makes you unique and how it adds value. You need to avoid generic or vague statements like I'm a hard worker or I'm a good communicator. Instead, be specific about what makes you an exceptional worker or communicator. Provide concrete examples and data that demonstrate your unique qualities and accomplishments. The fourth factor is relevance. Your USP needs to be tailored to the needs of your target audience. Consider what your decision makers care about and what their pain points are. And then align your USP with how you can help them solve their problems. The fifth factor is credibility. To be credible, you need to have evidence to back up your claims. Provide tangible examples of how you have demonstrated your unique qualities in the past. This can come in the form of performance metrics, testimonials or awards. Without this evidence, your USB may come off as empty phrases. And the final factor, being memorable. If you want your USB to stick in the minds of decision makers, you need to keep it simple and to the point and prioritize the most impactful aspects of your USB. You could, for example, consider crafting a memorable tagline or slogan that sums up your USP in a few words. The more memorable your USP is, the more likely you are on the top of the mind when opportunities come up. How about today you take the time to explore your unique selling points and craft a proposition that sets you apart from others? If you need help doing so, grab a copy of my latest book.